find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hi everyone, so I uh, wanted to show you this uh, pretty quick video about this uh, little bank tech a uh, phone holder for a tripod because I know some of you at least are using phones for uh, photos and videos and sometimes using the phone as like a monitor for your for your camera or you know things like that so I thought this would be really useful for you guys because this is um, the most well from at least from what I found uh, this was the nicest that I found um, the nicest phone holder that I found that uh, I mean what I wanted was just to that it was nice quality and pocketable and this thing fits both of those things so uh, yeah i really liked it and obviously you can get much cheaper ones this one was 15 pounds with shipping but you can get much cheaper ones uh, i just wanted something that was nice and and very compact to fit in my pocket so this uh this worked great so i actually haven't been using my phone for photos and video even though i thought that's what i would be doing when i got the phone i thought it would actually uh i would get a lot of use as um, sort of a review video device because like, I thought I would uh, like to quickly upload videos from my phone but the quality from my phone just wasn't quite what I wanted for my reviews so I never ended up shooting reviews on it but uh, okay so basically it fits on like that and then you tighten it from there and that's pretty much it it's um, you know, nicely made, fits pretty nicely. It doesn't hold it, I mean, I'm, I I imagine there would be things that hold it better than this. Uh, Cause obviously, you know, you know, they'd be much larger, maybe they hold it from both sides, or you know, like from there and there. But this has never slipped on me or come undone, and I, I've been happy with it. So, I mean, I haven't used that many phone tripod holders, but as far as this goes, uh, like so this specific one, it's totally fine. And actually, you know, pretty nice. What I would have liked is uh, if there was some sort of softer grip on these two areas so that you wouldn't have to use a case with it because right now I've got my phone in a case, this is the Galaxy Note 2. And uh, the reason for that is just not because it doesn't work without a case but it just has a lot more grip when it's in a case. And one thing you could do, I am i haven't tried this, I'm not 100% sure if this would be you know how well it would work but wrapping something around there which would make it a little bit softer uh, for example like electrical tape or something just like maybe one or two loops and obviously um, if you do that then you know be careful with what you're doing and uh, you know just to make sure you don't drop your phone uh, obviously you would want to do that anyways so um, yeah so uh, I like it it's nice and quick to use very very pocketable and well made and uh, yeah, I've been using this thing for months and I haven't been shooting with my phone, but I have been using it for Netflix, which is, uh, I mean, I've been using Netflix on my phone since Netflix came out in the UK. I really enjoy watching um, Netflix, uh, like when I'm, go when I'm in bed, going to sleep, or I mean, sometimes even when I wake up on like a weekend or something, if I'm not working. Uh, I mean, I do work most weekends, but you know, if I wake up and I'm not working, maybe I'll put something on. And uh, I mean, that's not really, that's not very really common. But uh, when I'm washing dishes or cooking or anything like that, then yeah, I mean, it's nice for me to have Netflix to, you know, to just watch while I do those things so I don't get bored. And this works for me really well. So if I use it like this, this is just two friction arms, which will cost, um, I don't know, like I think 10 pounds each. I think the smaller one is cheaper. And, uh, and then a clamp at the end, which is uh, around five pounds or so. And uh, f for me, this is a nice setup because it allows me to hold my phone like this when I'm, uh, well, whatever I'm doing. It allows me to just position my phone really easily to whatever I want. So, you know, I can aim it and things like that. And it allows me to clamp it using that clamp and then extend it with, with the arm. So very quickly I can go from tripod, which, uh, I mean, I. I normally don't need it very high like off the ground I just need it like on a surface but I can also clamp it really far away and then have the phone floating with the like, sort of floating with the, with the arm going all the way to here like when I'm doing dishes then I can actually see the phone and then underneath that I have the dishes so I can sort of see both at the same time and still enjoy what I'm watching and uh, yeah I mean I, I kind of like that and uh, so this is what I've been using with it but I wanted to show you a few more ideas 
of uh, things that you could um, use with it. So uh, the um, the lollipod, I recently got this, and uh, my main intention for this was to use it as a light stand, but it's mainly intended, I think, for uh, for use as a tripod. So let me move this back. Okay, so this is the lollipod for its very, very tiny size and weight when it's folded. It's something that goes up really, really high and uh, you know, has a bunch of sections and holds a surprising amount of weight. You know, it's, it's a pretty solid system. And it has a bunch of other cool little gadgets and um, case and things like that and, and cool features. So I'll show you that in a separate review. But I uh, just wanted to give you that as an example of something you could use together with the BankTech uh, phone adapter. And this is something I've already spoken about a few times in videos, something I really like, the mini travel tripod. Not quite as lightweight as this, but really, really similar in weight. Uh, like, I mean, almost no difference. And this doesn't go quite as high, but uh, it's still very compact and its legs do go wider. So uh, once you do that and then also extend the legs out, then they do go, you know, nice and wide. And uh, so, you know, it's just another option uh, I really like. I really like both of these. I use this uh, as an audio stand sometimes. Uh, recently I started using it as an, as an audio stand. And, uh, and that's when you guys uh, recommended the Lollipod to me. And then another thing that I haven't been using that much recently, but uh, something I got a lot of views uh, from in the past is, oops, uh, is uh, this uh, Gorillapod type thing. So this is a very, very oversized one that you don't really need this sort of size for a phone. This is intended for bigger cameras. But uh, this is the one that I have here to show you, but uh, just as an example. And so um, you can get small um, gorilla pods from like a pound on eBay, and you can get much cheaper tripods. All the ones that I've shown here are around a 20 pound sort of price range, uh, a bit lower, a bit more, I'm not really sure, but something like 20, between 15 and 25 pounds, I think. Uh, so, you know, not too bad. And then, um, the cost of this is around 15 pounds, uh, including shipping. So put together, they are, you know, they would make a very nice quality. I mean, like I said, there are cheaper options, but I sort of wanted to go, I mean, I have these things, uh, you know, which are more high, high quality, small stands because I use them for a lot of other uses for my work. And, um, and this thing I spend a little bit more on just because I wanted a little bit more quality. But so like I said, I mean, they are much, much cheaper. You could get like a, a two pound gorilla pod from eBay and a two pound um, phone clip thing that clips onto your phone. And that would be a much cheaper way to go about it. But this is a more high quality way to go about it. So I'm not saying this is a better way and, and that you guys should spend the extra money on this. Just wanted to share my thoughts on this. Um, because I mean, obviously for some uses, the, you know, there's not really that much point spending extra. Um, like here, yeah, I don't know. Just wanted to share my opinion, share a review about this. And uh, yeah, I mean, maybe at some point I'll get a bunch of cheapo things like that to review, but it's pretty unlikely since I don't really use um, a lot of phone stuff uh, or review a lot of phone stuff. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful and that I didn't blabber too much at the end of this video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.